Welcome to the Advice Show, Media with the Common Sense Approach. So we have 16 black women that took a picture as a graduation picture at West Point Academy. And they raised their fist, and it's caused a big uproar. It's all in the media, people all in their feelings, because these women chose to raise their one fist in the air. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. The female cadets actually took three group photos, but this one, with their fists raised, is what raised eyebrows. The picture was sent to bloggers and the Army Times newspaper last week by people who were concerned it was a statement about police killings of unarmed African Americans. Retired Brigadier General Donald Smith supports the West Point investigation. I thought it was a strange picture, just the, the fact that, you know, that, that people are making a fist. What were they trying to connote with, by that? Defense Department rules say members on active duty should not engage in partisan political activity. And we follow orders from a chain of command, and for everyone to be out there just giving their own opinions would be absolutely detrimental to good order and discipline. 2003 West Point graduate Mary Tobin mentors four of the women in the photograph. She says the cadets were merely showing pride at their accomplishments. They had no idea that the photograph would be viewed through any negative lens. Tobin also says there is a tradition at the Military Academy of posing in old Corps photos, a way for current cadets to pay homage to earlier generations. Some of us need to check our biases at the door and ask ourselves, why did we find something negative in that picture instead of finding something positive? In sports, the raised fist has been a symbol of success as well as of defiance. Beyonce used it earlier this year at the Super Bowl halftime show and was accused of paying tribute to the Black Panthers, a militant black power group. But Tobin says these cadets are not aligned with any political movements. This whole incident is a distraction to them. Their worry is that soldiers within their units that they will be leading soon will have an unfair impression about them. As you heard, they have a policy that states you can't do anything political in uniform. But who says raising a fist is political? I didn't know that. When a person raises a fist, it's based on their interpretation of what it may mean. As you saw in the news clip that showed Tom Brady doing it, many people do that. It's not relegated to mean anything with an activist group or the Black Panthers or whoever else choose to raise their fist. You would have to go to each and every individual and ask them, what did it mean when you raised your fist? Now, if it were me in that photo, because it has to be what you say, not what they say, I say, I raised my fist in celebration of my accomplishment. That's what we raised our fist for. Now, I can't speak what other activist groups choose to do when they raise their fist and what it means to them, but to me, it's just celebration. And I would stick to that. It wouldn't change no story. You wouldn't tell me, it twist me. You wouldn't say anything more than that. And if they say, well, Black Lives Matter, like, do you see me part of Black Lives Matter? Am I on their board? Am I in the rallies with them? I say, yeah, but the Black Panthers, am I part of the Black Panthers? Do you have evidence of that? I sure like to see that. And they know they're not going to produce any evidence of you being part of anything. So it just has to go away because it's really your word against theirs on that point. Now, if they keep coming at you about raising your fist, I say, well, you know what? If that fist is so much of a problem, well, you need to put out a ban on raising fists in the military and then I have to buy it by that. But until then I can raise my fist because it meant celebration to me. And that's really how I would handle that situation. I wouldn't back down. I wouldn't bat an eye and that's it. You gotta let these people know that you don't scare me like that. Period. I'm not doing anything. See, this is what they fear. A lot, a lot of them fear actually. They fear black people becoming more and more conscious minded, which is naturally happening. They fear black people getting together, doing for themselves, uh, doing things that they should have been doing a long time ago, taking control of their education, taking control of their family. That's what they fear. It's not nobody going out doing harm to anybody. It's just when black people get their act together, that always is a problem. Because when black people are doing the right thing in society, we thrive and we thrive very well. So, this consciousness or black empowerment is a problem. Why do you think O'Reilly liken it to, well, they're anti-American, they're terrorists. No, nobody's doing any terrorism. Show me the act of black people doing some terrorism, those who are raising fists. I just I have not seen that whatsoever. 
See, those who want to protect the institution of white supremacy and those who want to protect black phobia, they have an issue with a raised fist. No one else care about it. Cause like I say, anybody can raise their fist and it can mean whatever it means to that individual person. So if a bunch of white guys, if they go raise their fists uh, on a photo, what you're going to say, it means black empowerment is going to mean the Panthers is going to mean, you know, black lives matter. If they do it, no, you're not going to say that you're going to just take it as a celebration photo. But if black people do it, oh, well, that's what that means. You know, it's just this biasness that you see. And that's what we will always keep pointing out no matter what part in society we see this at, because, this is really stupid for the military to even be getting involved with that sort of crap. Make sure you join me May 21st at the Shrine of Black Madonna in Houston, Texas. We'll be speaking there. I would love to meet you and thank you for supporting the platform. Make sure you also check out the description box to the studio building. It's one campaign. We'll be on the TV Red Studio, but we need your help. Please donate. Hit me up in the comments, future commentaries. Subscribe.